Hey guys, how's it going? In the previous video, we have talked about on how we can uh, fetch all of the books inside our database. So in this video, we are going to cover how we can create, read, update, and delete um, the books uh, within our server. So before we do that, I just want to organize a little bit our code. So here, uh, we define our routes inside the index.js and uh, for now I want to separate the controllers uh, let's say the controllers of our um, books uh, into a separate folders into a separate file so we can create a new folder here which called um, new folder called controllers and this controller should have the books.js so this file will contains every functions that we require to implement those features. So here we have the um, read books, read all books, and we can cut this and we move this into the books.js. So I can say export dot exports dot find, say find books is equal to this function right here. So it's much more cleaner because we separate the controllers uh, from our um, server initialization. And we also want to um, cut this because we don't need this book right here. And we need this uh, model from our find books uh, function. So uh, we need to fix this is slash dot dot slash model slash book. And now uh, everything looks good and here we also want to require so let's say const books book controller or let's say books controller or maybe just book controller is equal to require slash controller slash books here so the book controller you can say book controller dot find books so um, if we uh, go to our uh, postman again we can uh, fetch the books again and as you can see that now we have the same result so everything looks good now let's get started to implement those features so here in our uh, books uh, controllers right here we can create new function which is called exports dot um, create book async rick response and here um, we are going to uh, have a controller that can create a new book. So to do that, we can go back to our index.js and we need to add a middleware. And the reason why we want to use this middleware is because we want to parse the body of our request um, body. So here we can say app.use and then we can say express.json. And I'm going to talk a little bit how we can use this uh, middleware just for a moment. So here I can say const data is equal to request dot body. And for now, just for testing purposes, we just want to console lock the data. So uh, let's see uh, what's inside this data. So if we reload in our postman, I'm sorry, not the get the oh actually we need to um, register our create book function inside this um, post and books book controller dot create book so this should work so uh, we post the slash books and we hit send now we can see that we actually have an error if we go to our terminal and oh that's the reason is the reason why is because we don't um respond to anything so let's say we respond uh the data itself so forgive me about that so uh we go to postman again and we set the body to raw and json and here we pass the title is equal to um, maybe start with y from Simon Sinek. So let's say the author is 
Simon Sinek. Sorry. So we hit send. And we should get this. Ah. So inside this uh, rec.body uh, variable, we have the JSON body of our request. So we can use this rec.body variable to create a new book. So to do that, we can say, so const book is equal to book dot and new book. And here we pass the document and document lives inside the rec.body. And after we create new book, we want to save it inside our database. So let's say book.save. And this save function is asynchronous. So we need to use await for this uh, particular line of, of code. So now we want to rest that send. The data is equal to book. So this should work. So uh, if we go to Postman again, we hit send to this. And as you can see that now, we have a data that contains a new stored uh, book. And here we have the ID. And the ID contains uh, the unique uh, identifier uh, which we can use to differentiate between each books in our collection. So here we have the title as well as the author and we should see our book if we run the get method. So if we hit send without the body actually. So we hit send. Now we can see that the data contains an array that um, contains this object, which is the book that we have just created. All right, so this looks good. And uh, I want to add a one new feature. So here, I'm going to create a controller that can uh, fetch a single book based on the ID. So if we pass like this, so books slash this ID, we should get a single book. So to do that, we can say exports dot find book so this is find books and this is find book just for one single book so um, the uh, handler should be request and response and uh, to fetch that we can say const book is equal to await book dot find one and or find by ID actually so find by ID and then the ID, uh, which is from the request that parameter, which is params that ID. So the request that parameters is actually this one right here. We can configure our parameters uh, inside our rods just a minute. So after we fetch the book, we want to rest that send it. So book data is equal to book. So we want to bind this uh, find book uh, controller into our routes. So let's say app dot get and then slash books and then slash dot or or uh, what's this colon? Yeah, colon actually <laughs> colon ID. So book dot find book. So the ID is actually this one right here. So this will be the ID that we want to find from our uh, collections. So uh, when we go to Postman and we hit get request to this URL because we have this ID right here, we hit send. We have no response because I think we have an error. Yep, we have an error and oh wait, the reason why is because we actually forgot to use the async. That is very important. So don't forget about that. So if we go to our postman again, we hit send. Now we have the single book. Cool. So that is basically it for the create and find book by ID. And in the next video, we are going to learn uh, the rest of the features, which is the update to do and the delete to do. So stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video.